Hey guys, welcome to another video of Tech Lab. I know, I'm making this video after almost a month. What? A full month? Okay, but guys, I have a valid reason. Uh, a, not a single reason, a couple of reasons. Can I tell them? Oh, you, we should keep it as a secret. Let's keep it as a secret. But all I can tell you guys, they're going to be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified. A few months ago, I made a video about a USB 2.0 LAN card and a USB sound card. You can click right here to watch it. It was requested by one of my viewers and the performance of that USB 2.0 LAN card was hideous. It was very, 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 very bad that I ended up throwing it to my storeroom. If any one of you guys want to experience the horror, it's up for a grab. Just comment on the comment box and I will personally send you the USB 2.0 LAN card for free of cost. Today I am going to show you guys a USB 3.0 hub which not only has 3 USB ports but also has a gigabit Ethernet port. Yeah, it can solve all of your connectivity problems. It's from Walton. The model number is WU8001. It's a USB 3.0 hub which has 3 USB 3.0 ports and a gigabit Ethernet port. So let's open it. It's a review unit from Walton and has been opened already by one of our other YouTubers. So the package is torn in some places. It doesn't have some packaging materials, but we don't have to worry about that. We are going to benchmark the USB 3.0 speed to see whether it decreases the USB 3.0 speed or not. And we are going to also benchmark the gigabit ethernet port. It's made with Jink alloy and ABS. So you can see it's very strong and structural rigidity is very good. I'm going to benchmark it on a few different computer and laptops and connect it to motherboard's built-in USB 3.0 port and also a dedicated PCI Express USB 3.0 card which I have installed in my computer to see if there is any speed difference. So let's do it. First I'm going to benchmark the motherboard's dedicated USB 3.0 port with a USB 3.0 portable hard disk. As you guys can see, the reading speed is about 76 Mbps and the writing speed is about 52 Mbps. Now I have connected the USB 3.0 portable hard disk to this hub and then connected the USB 3.0 hub to the computer motherboard USB 3.0 port. As you guys can see, the speed has dropped significantly. The reading speed was 76 Mbps. Now we are getting the reading speed of uh, 43 Mbps and the writing speed was about 53 Mbps. Now we are getting only 32 Mbps. You guys can see when we connect the USB 3.0 portable hard disk to this hub and then connect it to the computer's USB 3.0 port, it decreases the speed. But our test is not done yet. Now we are going to test it with a USB 3.0 PCI Express card. After we connected the USB 3.0 portable hard disk to the PCI Express USB 3.0 card, the speed increased significantly. On our desktop motherboards, dedicated USB 3.0 port was giving 76 Mbps. Now we are getting around 82 Mbps with this PCI Express USB 3.0 card. It's very good. And the writing speed is about the same, 82 Mbps. Now we are going to connect the USB 3.0 portable hard disk through this USB 3.0 hub to see if the speed gets dropped or not. As you guys can see, the speed didn't drop. It's getting 82 Mbps reading and 82 Mbps writing. There might be some power limitations to the USB 3.0 port on that motherboard, but 
I don't know. But here we can see the USB 3.0 speed didn't drop at all. So it's working very good. Now we are going to test the built-in Gigabit Ethernet port. First, I'm going to benchmark the motherboard's built-in Gigabit Ethernet port. As you guys can see, I'm getting 95 Mbps download and 92 Mbps upload with one millisecond ping. Now I'm going to connect this USB 3.0 hub with my RJ45 cable and see what kind of internet speed we get from this. When I connected to internet with this USB 3.0 gigabit ethernet port and started benchmarking, the benchmark suddenly stopped and my internet was gone. It was showing something like a socket error and when I checked the device manager and network adapter options, this gigabit ethernet was still on that list. So it was not disconnected. So what went wrong there? Then I disconnected it from my computer and reconnected it to see if this problem is fixed or not. When I reconnected it to my computer, the internet came back and I started benchmarking. The speed I got from this USB 3.0 gigabit ethernet is 92 Mbps download and 92 Mbps upload. The speed is comparable with the dedicated Ethernet port of this computer. So you see, the USB 3.0 hub is really good and the speed we are getting from it is comparable with the dedicated ports we have on our computer. If you want to buy it, it's totally worth it. The price is only 1150 taka, which is around 14 US dollars. It's now selling with discount for only 1035 taka in dadas.com.bd and Walton E Plaza. The link is given in the description if you want to check it out. So guys, that was all for today. Don't forget to like if you liked this video and also consider subscribing and ring the bell icon. See you guys in the next one.